The following video is how to make an easy, simple garden for your pet to keep them healthy and happy. Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California. Today I'm doing something a little different. Today I'm setting up a tub on a vanity chair that I set, I'm going to set up for my dogs. I can't emphasize how important it is for dogs to get something nutritious in their body. A lot of people don't realize that their dry dog food is being irradiated, which means it's been cleaned to the point where it's sterilized and they're not getting any enzymes. Now, if you've got a dog running the yard and it's eating grass and stuff, that's perfect. But when you've got a house dog that spends most of its life in the house, they're not getting anything and they really need that. So what I want everybody to do is grow a little something and here I'm going to set up for a kitty, a garden. And I'm going to use food that is dog safe and that she likes. No use in me setting up anything she doesn't like. I went around the yard and I collected some of her favorite foods. So here I'm going to put, this is a collar, plain old collar. She loves collar. And if they get too big, it doesn't matter. I can move them out. So I'm gonna put a few collards in here and I'll show you how I set this up earlier. Earlier I set it up and what I did was I put a lot of leaves from the garden in here. I was collecting some native soil. I put some earthworms in there that I found in their pots. I was putting all kinds of stuff and then on the very top I put some potting soil. So this way everything that's in there, because I even have kitchen scraps in there, everything that's in there is going to break down, but at the same time everything's going to grow. I think Kitty does like her collar. Do you, uh, this, this is collar? This is. Yep, that's collar. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to get a lot of this planted. And so this is colored, and that's her favorite. And then I've got some dinosaur kale, and I've got a little bit of lettuce that's growing here. This is all from our own garden. You know, things that came up from seed. And so I collected it, but you can go buy things that you think your dog would like. Here's a little tiny parsley. I'm gonna stick some parsley in there. And then in here, again, like I said, everything is from our own garden. More dinosaur kale. She likes lettuce. And let's see, what else does she like? She loves sprouting broccoli. I don't have any seedlings, so I'm probably gonna do some cuttings and put some sprouting broccoli in there. And then here's another dinosaur kale. Now, I'm not going to let this dinosaur kale get big like I do in my garden because here's lettuce, more lettuce. I'm gonna separate the lettuce because when it gets bigger, it's a little bitter, and I know that the dogs prefer the tender sweet leaves. So we're gonna keep everything small in this garden. Really, really small. Do you, you like color? You don't wanna come out? There you go. There's your garden, look. Yeah, that's gonna be your garden, and I think I'm gonna let you down so you can go roam the garden and see what there is. But this is going to be Kitty's garden, things that she likes. We're going to get some more lettuce in here. And that's it. It's that simple. Now I'm just going to water it in. And the other thing I am going to do is I'm going to sprinkle in some carrots. Now the carrots I'm sprinkling in, I bought this online, are called little fingers. So they're short carrots, so they don't need a long time to grow. I'm just going to sprinkle in a few and see how they grow in here. And as they start to grow, I'll add in more. Because dogs love carrots, whether they're cooked, whether they're steamed, it doesn't matter whether they're raw. And that's it. This is how simple it is to make a garden for your pet. Now, if you don't have a place to make a garden, you can grow microgreens for them. It could be broccoli, it could be wheat, whatever microgreens that you like, it's good for them too. And the main thing to remember is 
a little goes a long way. You don't need that much. So a few leaves is good, and that's all there is to it. And it's good to add a little bit to their food that gives them the enzymes that they need in their body that they may not be getting in their dog food. I've got another video explaining the detail on what's going on with the pet industry right now. So all I'm trying to do is get awareness out. But Kitty and the other dogs, they do eat out of our garden all the time. But I think if I did this, more people might realize that gardening is important for your pets too, not just for us. But it's just as important for them. Our food is being irradiated. But, you know, we do manage to get our vitamins and our enzymes in other ways. But sometimes dogs don't, especially indoor dogs that are spending all their time inside. So this is really easy. I took a vanity chair, a round container, filled it up with all kinds of stuff from the garden, all the leaves, and like I said, kitchen scraps, and this topped it with a small layer of potting soil. So I have potting soil for other places. I got a big bag. You don't need a lot of potting soil. That's all you need is on the top because everything on the bottom is gonna break down. And that's all you need. Figure out what your dog likes. Ask your vet. Your vet can help you out on that. And then think about adding greens, a little bit of greens and other vegetables to your dog's diet. So I hope I gave you some ideas. I'm not sure where Kitty is right now. She's off hunting in the garden for what she wants. Make a little garden for your pets, and don't worry, you can eat out of it too. Have a great day, and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye.